We came, we saw, we took in an industry party or two, and rode even harder. Motorcycle USA kicked off Bike Week 2014 with a spin on Harley's two latest offerings, the 2014 Lowrider and Super Low 1200T. Harley brought back its popular Dyna with a host of upgrades. The big dual discs on the front among our favorite, and compressed the rider's triangle of the Sportster and gave it touring amenities for light road tripping in the form of the 1200T. A couple days later, we'd meet up with our friends from Harley-Davidson again for its annual ride in custom bike show. Both Willie G and son Bill Davidson showed up to greet fans and host the awards ceremony. It's amazing to what extremes people can take their Harleys, from riding them out to building big, bad baggers. But nobody took it to more of an extreme than Quebec's Christian Rivard, winner of Best of Show honors for his stretch and slam Super Radical. Almost every inch of his bike, called Spartacus, had been customized a fact that helped him gain favor with judges. We caught up with Indian Motorcycles too for its party at the Full Moon Saloon and got a chance to hang with American picker Mike Wolf. Wolf would later take the stage to present one lucky person the loan of a 2014 Indian Chief for a whole year, with Donnie Donahue from Hot Springs, Arkansas winning the honors. A few days later we picked up a 2014 Indian Chief Classic ourselves and made a day trip over to the oldest establishment in the U.S., St. Augustine. The city's history dates back to 1565 and is filled with plenty of old world charm. We rumbled around town on the Big Red Chief while taking in as much of its ambience as we could. We also got a chance to ride the 2015 Victory Gunner while we were there. We took a jaunt out to De Leon Springs State Park for brunch at the old Spanish Mill Grill and Griddle House, a unique eatery with griddles built into the tabletops where you make your own pancakes. After brunch, we kicked up our stands and spun the wheels of Victory's latest cruiser, unleashing the power of its Freedom 106 mill at every opportunity. We saw another cool Victory out at the Speedway at the Allstate Insurance Display. Custom builder and Strokers Dallas owner Rick Fairless worked his magic on a Victory Vegas 8 ball to serve as the Allstate Insurance sweepstakes motorcycle. It's a rockin' ride as Fairless jazzed it up with sweet engine guards and plenty of drilled out bits. Best part, the winner gets an all-expenses-paid trip to Dallas to brainstorm on a custom paint job for the 8-Ball applied by Fairless and the Stroker's team. Out at the Speedway, vendors and manufacturers alike were on hand with the latest and greatest motorcycles and aftermarket goodies. Daytona International Speedway is undergoing heavy construction right now, so manufacturers had to squeeze into the midway next to the vendors this year, and demo rides were moved farther out. While plenty of our favorite vendors were on hand, Overall numbers at the Speedway felt down compared to prior years. This wasn't the story out of Bruce Ross Meyer's destination Daytona. The largest Harley dealership around is anything and everything a Harley enthusiast could want inside its megastore. Surrounding them were plenty of big name vendors, while a steady stream of live music and entertainment made for a festive atmosphere. And then of course there's Main Street. The action seldom stops as music and mayhem mingle amicably at just about every joint on the strip. It's a great place to bump into old friends. Motorcycles flood the avenue night and day in a non-stop biker parade. Another place where you bump into old friends is Willie's Tropical Tattoo Old School Chopper Show. Willie's was off the hook this year, as the tattoo parlor attracted the biggest numbers in years. Roadside Marty was up to his usual shenanigans as MC, and plenty of ingenuity and creativity was displayed in a huge showing of custom motorcycles. Willie's was a great way to culminate eight days in Daytona Beach, as another bike week is in the books.